studying for your EOC, you can at least review this problem. So again, in this problem, um, just like I did before, nobody wants to solve with fractions, right? So what we want to do, Parker, is get rid of our fractions. So to get rid of the fractions, we need to find the least common multiple or of denominator, basically. So what, does, what is the smallest expression that x and x plus 3 divides into? Well, that is just simply, I can't factor them to simplify it. So I can just say it's going to be x times x plus 3. Because x divides into that, leaving you with x plus 3. And x plus 3 divides into that, leaving you with an answer of x. So they both divide into that expression. So to get our common denominator, I multiply by x plus 3 on the top and bottom. Here, I multiply by x over x. Then I'll have my common denominator. Oops, I'm sorry, what am I doing? That's if we wanted to subtract them, right? Or if we actually wanted to combine them, correct? Yes? That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with what I just did. However, you can do that, but Evelina, that's really not going to um, make this an easier problem to do. What I just did in my last example was we want to try to get rid of the fractions, right? So rather than multiply to get common denominator, which is nothing wrong, let's multiply every single term by our common denominator. So we multiply everything by our common denominator. The reason why this is beneficial is because this is going to get rid of our fractions. Axes divide out x plus 3's divide out, and then 0 times that is obviously always going to be 0. So therefore, I'm left with x plus 3 times 1, which is x plus 3, minus negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x, equals 0. So by multiplying by the common denominator, rather than trying to get, rather than trying to combine them, which is mathematically perfectly fine. However, by doing this, I can now combine, so that's negative x plus 3 equals 0. And therefore, you could say x equals negative 3. Oops. No, x equals positive 3, right? x equals positive 3. Then the last thing we want to make sure we do is take our solution and plug it back in to make sure it doesn't make our denominator 0. So when we plug 3 in for x, does it make our denominator equal 0? No. So that answer is good. If, by plugging 3 back into the equation does make it 0, it's called extraneous. But that does not happen in this case. Interesting. Phone seems to be a distractor. 